Welcome to the mysterious town of Stowe, Vermont, where lush landscapes meet chilling legends. Among its picturesque beauty lies a historic covered bridge known as Emily's Bridge that has become a magnet for paranormal enthusiasts and curious travelers alike. Legend has it that a heartbroken bride named Emily haunts this bridge, her tragic tale intertwined with eerie reports of unexplained sounds, ghostly apparitions, and chilling encounters. I'm your host, Dan David. Welcome to City of Nightmares. Nestled amidst the breathtaking beauty of the Green Mountains in north-central Vermont, the town of Stowe boasts a rich history dating back to the early 19th century. As one of New England's most charming destinations, Stowe has evolved from a humble settlement into a vibrant community, welcoming visitors with its picturesque landscapes and warm hospitality. The town's history is evident in its well-preserved architecture showcasing a blend of colonial and Victorian influences that line its quaint streets. Stowe's past is celebrated through its museums, historical landmarks, and annual events, offering glimpses into its early agricultural and pioneering roots. Beyond its historical appeal, Stowe has also gained fame as a destination for those intrigued by the unexplained and the supernatural. While some visitors are drawn to its scenic beauty, others seek out the thrill of exploring alleged paranormal hotspots that dot the area. Among the rumored sites are historic inns and lodges, where guests have shared stories of inexplicable encounters and ghostly sightings. Eerie tales have circulated about mysterious figures that seem to wander through hallways and vanish without a trace. While skeptics may dismiss these accounts as mere folklore, the allure of the unknown continues to attract curious travelers to these reputedly haunted locations. In addition to tales of haunted inns, local guides and paranormal enthusiasts have shared stories about other mysterious places in and around Stowe, whisperings of unexplained lights dancing over hills or eerie echoes heard in remote valleys add to the mystique of the region, perpetuating its reputation as a place where history and the supernatural intertwine. For those who seek a different kind of adventure, Stowe offers a captivating blend of natural wonders, historical charm, and tantalizing hints of the unexplained. But amongst everything that was mentioned, by far the most popular haunted landmark is the Goldbrook Covered Bridge, affectionately referred to as Emily's Bridge. The bridge is officially known as the Goldbrook Covered Bridge, but it became commonly referred to as Emily's Bridge due to a popular ghost story associated with it. According to local legends, between the years of 1849 and 1949, a young woman named Emily was jilted at the altar by her fiancé, and, heartbroken, she hung herself from the rafters of the bridge. The circumstances of her death and the identity of Emily herself are not well documented, making it challenging to verify the accuracy of the story. Visitors and paranormal enthusiasts have reported numerous eerie experiences and encounters at Emily's Bridge. Some visitors have claimed to witness ghostly apparitions or fleeting shadows while near the bridge. These apparitions are often described as a young woman in a wedding dress or a figure in outdated clothing, adding to the belief that Emily's spirit may still linger in the area. Eerie noises are frequently reported around the bridge. Visitors have described hearing the sound of footsteps on the wooden planks, whispers from disembodied voices, and inexplicable sobbing 
or crying. These auditory phenomena contribute to the chilling atmosphere surrounding the location. Several visitors have reported sudden and significant drops in temperature while visiting Emily's Bridge, even on warm summer days. Cold spots or temperature fluctuations are often associated with paranormal activity in haunted locations. There have been accounts of strange occurrences involving vehicles that pass through or park near the bridge. For example, some visitors have claimed that their car engines stall or malfunction unexpectedly, only to resume normal function once they leave the vicinity of the bridge. There have also been alleged sightings of other figures besides Emily, including a grown man, other eerie-looking women, and a little boy who climbs along the side of the structure. The following is a quote from Davy Russell, a writer from Medium.com. In his article, which I'll link in the description below, he recounts his experience of traveling to Emily's Bridge with a group of friends, including his partner, Lords, and two fellow paranormal enthusiasts, Paul and Claire. The actual bridge is not long at all, yet you feel isolated when you enter it alone in the dark. My sense of isolation quickly turned to anxiety when I heard, through the din of the rushing brook, the sound of something scraping on wood, not more than five feet from me. The sound lasted just a quick second, enough to get my heart pounding. I turned my camera back on. The red, low battery indicator threatened to leave me in the dark once again, eliminating what little comfort I had in the illumination from the LCD screen. The infrared and UV camera-mounted lights are invisible to my eyes. I could not see anything in the bridge with me. No faint flashes of light, no moving shadows, no figures. I could barely make out the outline of our vehicle in the parking area beyond the bridge entrance. Then, the scraping sound rushed toward me. I spun around and the LCD screen blinked off in an instant. I frantically pushed on the buttons, but the camera would not turn back on. I felt something ever so slightly nudge me from behind, and I ran out of the bridge, following the faint light that Lords had on in our car. I felt instantly relieved once I left the bridge. Lords and Claire bolted out of the car when they saw me. Did you see anything? I asked. No, Lords said. The cameras went down. All four of them? I asked incredulously. Yes, just now, Claire chimed in. She's not happy that we're here. Due to its reputation, Emily's Bridge has become a popular destination for ghost hunters, thrill seekers, and curious tourists interested in the supernatural. It is essential to note, though, that visiting the bridge might be subject to local regulations, and it is always crucial to respect private property and exercise caution while exploring any potentially haunted location. But, despite all that, if you still decide to visit the bridge, remember, Emily might not appreciate you disrupting her space, and you might not like how she decides to tell you. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode of City of Nightmares. If you did, be sure to follow the show for more. Remember to check back next week for another episode where we discuss the brutal and disturbing killing spree of New Mexico's Toy Box Killer. Until next time, dear listener, this is your host, Dan David, reminding you all to stay safe out there. I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Nope.